<laughs> I got you! Colin, you know? Nice garden, Bruno. Yes, I didn't recognize you at all. It's like it's, you disappear, you know, your, your really handsome face disappeared for completely to this guy. So how do you create this amazing character? Well, of course, with the makeup team. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Give so much credit to, to Mike Marino and, and the team of extraordinary artists that he worked with. I mean, he designed it, you know. I think Mike had certain reference points, touchstones. I remember seeing his workspace where he designed the face and he had black and white, some crime scene shots from New York in the 40s. And he really went in and he took his time designing this visage of, of Oz's, you know. And, and then when he put it on, it just, it was time to go and play. And that's what it felt like. It really felt like playing. I was just very in the moment. And, and obviously I was obstructed enough that I had uh, none of the awareness that my, of course, my face was being seen because it wasn't, I was buried. and. That burying was was an incredible kind of liberation for me and just allowed me a freedom that I, I can't say I've ever really experienced in 20 years, you know. Was comfortable? Yeah, surprisingly. I forgot it was on. Uh -huh. I mean, across the board, everything. Usually you'd hear, you know, the makeup was fantastic, but it was such a drag to get it put on or it was very heavy or it was... I forgot it was on, man. It just became, it was seamless. And the way it moved with my expressions was extraordinary. The first time I put it on, I mean, I had to look at myself in the mirror and <laughs> move it around. And it was very, very, it's like, do you ever see a cat seeing the reflection for the first time? You know, I was, it was a little bit like, is that me or am I in there? I could see myself in the eyes, but I was gone, man. And I had complete freedom as a result well, of that. That's beautiful. As I, honestly, when I saw you the first time, I said, is the, uh, oh my God, that's calling yeah. for it's like, it's jubilant. Yeah. John, also this, this movie is like a completely new angle, new approach. I, f I feel it's the first time we saw something like this in a superhero movie. So how do you feel to incorporate those new elements of darkness, violence? Well, it's almost more of a, a you know, like a crime or film noir uh, story mm -hmm. and less of a superhero because he doesn't really have superpowers, you know, he, yes. he creates with his intelligence and, and his body, you know, a, a way, you know, and all these gadgets and everything. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's very grounded. And you're also seeing people emerge, uh, uh, Colin's character emerge, obviously Rob's character is changing, you know, uh, and Catwoman, uh, uh, Zoe's character too. I thought it was very, there was a lot of nuance going on, you know, in it, and I, I, it was a lot of fun to participate that way. <laughs> play a game, just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? So Paul, how, how do you create this character? It's, it's, it's very intense. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is intense and it, and, it, and it was intense. Matt Reeves wrote a really beautiful, very fully conceived script. And, and as you say, he had such a singular point of view uh, that that he gave us so many gifts right there in the material and from there uh, just trying to dig up as many imaginings details as I could about whether it was where he c came from the scars that he's sort of bearing inside of him which I think fuel a big part of his journey some research and some quite dark research, which I also had trouble with about serial killers and all this stuff. I mean, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, but the world we're stepping into is so fun at the same time. It was, it was a funny experience that way. There was a duality to uh, this darkness that was quite challenging, but also so much pleasure and excitement in Gotham and in the Batman. Gotham City looks very different. It's like, I love the elements. In some moments, beautiful. In some moments, very dark. So how was the sets? How was, you know, the art direction? How was be there? I think James Chinlin, our production designer, is an absolute genius. And I think this is the right Gotham. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, Gotham is, as the name described, describes, it's, you know, it's gothic, it's 
and it's decayed, and it, it's, it, what we see on film is, one, a comprehensive world that, you know, an audience, I think, can get lost inside of, but we also see a once great city a once great society that's coming apart, uh, but, the, but the rooftops have been redressed, the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge have been redressed, and it's just absolutely brilliant work by the artists who put it together, and, that, and, uh, and that's what our, Goth our, our Gotham is. <laughs>